A very good evening to you and of course a very good evening to you ladies. Welcome to the Cricket Show with a difference. It stars these incredible women that you see on your screen today. We have Emily, cricket writer, player, umpire. She's there in the corner looking ready for the day. And the twins who celebrated a birthday this week. Happy belated birthday. Look at them. You guys look like you were celebrating hard this week. I'm just joking. You guys look fantastic. <laughs> and of course, they are cricket fans who love the game and love to talk about it too. And then, of course, we have the missing ones. I would like to mention, um, we were going to have somebody on the show. Her name is Lucy and she writes and plays and scores and lives in the UK and is currently studying sports journalism. And although she hails from the cold, she does love South Africa. But of course, she supports England when um, when it counts, like today. And so she was going to be a special guest here on the show or a usual guest, uh, part of the panel. But she decided not to be here today for some reason. I, I wonder what that reason could possibly be. Although there has been a test match going on. I don't know if we should call it a test match because it was over in two days between England and India. And we will, you know, jump on that in a little bit. But before we jump into that, before we talk about anything um, and get into the nitty gritty of it all, remember to like, subscribe, follow, comment, join the live chat, do all of the things, read links, Click on links in bios, become a patron, do, do all the things that you usually do. Show love for Cricket Fanatics, show love for the Offside Maidens, and you can do that. All of the details are all there in the bio. And remember that the views and opinions are not our own. No, they are our own, but they're not of Cricket Fanatics, Mag. I got you there, and I thank you. So, welcome. <laughs> You guys look fantastic. Twins, how was your birthday? Happy belated. You're probably quite excited. You've had lots of cricket to watch this week. I don't know if you did get a chance to watch it or if you were celebrating hard. How does it feel to share your birthdays with each other? Oh, no. <laughs> what question is it? Ach, no, it was a really nice day. Um, yeah, so um, we didn't celebrate too hard. I mean, COVID and yeah, but um, it was actually really nice to know that the Cobras won on our birthday, which is a really nice, you know, way to end. But then they... You mean the one know, time they did win? The, 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 the one they time that they win, yeah. Which was... We'll take yeah, that win. We'll, we'll, we'll take, take it. it. Yeah, as a, as but a, it was good. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you were excited and you got the perfect gift, at least a win from your team. I... Although maybe perhaps your second team because your t-shirt suggests otherwise. Oh, was it yeah. that obvious? Oh, I'm oh, so I sorry. I had no idea. It was literally just like Yeah, no, Kesh, I think, was definitely leading from the front. So we're very, very proud of that, I think. Yes, and obviously future captain is in the Dolphins. Exactly. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. Boom. This is how fickle fans can be, everyone. So now let's move on to Emily. <laughs> The real Emily, how has your week been? And you hosted the show last week. Did you enjoy that? How how was everything? Um, my, my week's been good, yeah. Um, can't really complain. I hosted the show last week, I did. Um, it was <laughs> I was anxious, um, but I think it went okay. Um, I'm glad that you're back though, back hosting. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm good, thanks. Okay, so have you been um, watching closely the T20 Challenge um, or all of the matches, Emily? Um, I, I have been, I've been watching. I've been watching most, um, not all of them. Um, there's been so much cricket going on. I've, I've been, <laughs> I've been struggling to keep up. Um, you know, with PSL as well, and then you know, India and, and England. So, but I have, I've. I've watched most of the games um and i've mostly been impressed with what i've seen um obviously the cobras is <laughs> it's a bit of a sore point and heartbreak there um but I've, I've mostly been impressed with with um the players that i've that i've watched um yeah there's a lot of talent there yeah it's it's been a very fast-paced competition really matches every day um most days two matches a day and 
currently looking at the log. The Dolphins are sitting pretty. They are on top. It looks like it's basically their competition. Lions, Warriors, Titans, all looking like they may, you know, be involved in the playoffs. But the Cobras are sitting second to last. They are fifth. And the Knights are last. They are dead last. And I don't know how many opportunities the Cobras or the Knights will actually have. Because if I look at the fixtures, let me just pull up the fixtures for myself here. If I look at the fixtures, yes, the Cape Cobras are playing tomorrow. Is a win tomorrow enough? Mm, um, probably yeah. not. <laughs> Look, they need to win. There's a whole lot of, of factors there, um, things that need to go in our favor. But the Cobras need to win with a bonus point. Um, they need to win. Yeah, they need to win with a bonus point. And um, let me see. Let me see. Just get my facts straight here. Yeah, the Dolphins obviously need to beat the Titans um, because the Titans are sitting on on eight points. So the Dolphins, I mean, they've already qualified. Um, yeah. And they've won won every game in the tournament. I don't really see them losing. They threw to the, the final. Game. Right, yes, the Dolphins yeah, are yeah, through. Yes, the Dolphins yes. are already through to the final. So the playoffs yeah. really—it's about the the other teams there. Yeah, Cobras. I I don't know. Do you think it's possible that they can win with a bonus point? Look, um, it's they are, they sure. are up against the Lions tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean the Lions are, are coming off a loss though, so perhaps I mean Zubay Hamza has been in fantastic form. I've been very impressed with him. The way he's um, come back. Um, and sort of he's shown the critics that, you know, he deserves a spot um, in the team. He deserves to play franchise cricket. Um, in my opinion, he even deserves to be in the, the test side. That's a whole other conversation. Um, so, yeah, I've been impressed with him. You know, you, you never know with the, with the Cobras. Um, if they if they win with a bonus point and if other results go in our favour, um, we'll be in that third spot. So, yeah, we, we'll just have to see. Um, but the Titans are also hungry for a win because they're also coming with two losses. So, um, if they win, they're in. So, yeah, it's tomorrow's the two games tomorrow are going to be very interesting to watch. Yeah, they literally tournament changes those two games tomorrow. Hopefully, it goes. I don't know. I, I would like a few surprises, and I would like to see, as you mentioned, Zubair Hamza. He has been doing really well um, in this tournament. The coach Ashwell Prince did mention that you know he was no, not taking away the captaincy from him, but rather just giving him a chance to concentrate and focus on his game. Um, and that's, we, we see that that works sometimes. And in the case, like the twins were celebrating earlier, in the case of Keshav Maharaj, he thrives in a leadership role. And that's probably why they are so excited to see him in a leadership role in the Proteus setup as well. Is that not right, twins? Very excited you are. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll we'll see how he does. But yeah, we are looking forward to his performance and see what he can do and if he can wreak havoc with the ball. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, because I think it was in like two games that he played where he took the opening batsman's wickets just like that, you know. So yeah. I think he, he he owns his place, I think. So he's 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 doing quite he's doing quite good out there and doing what he has to do, I suppose. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has been. And I mean, yesterday his team beat the Lions by 41 runs. Also, the match that happened yesterday, the Warriors beating the Titans by 43 runs. So large margins yesterday. And those those games were definitely game changers because it was that game that put the Dolphins through to the final. And Keshav, he may not have taken a lot of wickets, but his economy rate is brilliant. And if we can, um, I know that our producer has a list of the top scorers. If you can just bring that up, uh, the top scorers in the tournament so far. <clears throat> or maybe yeah, he's not that. listening to me. So... <laughs> I'm waiting in anticipation and, and I'm not being listened to. Yeah, they are. Oh, there they um, are. <laughs> Here they are. Here we can see what's been happening. Oh, yeah. And I think the main issue here is that there's only one Cobra player here in, in this top 10. But as you can see, he's been doing really well. 
Okay, Carl, Carl Ryan is also there, even though he's 10th. <laughs> Um, but oh, yeah, yes, he's, okay. yes, he's right there at the bottom. You're right. <laughs> sorry, bottom, yeah. I, I, but I'm, I'm sorry. He's right there at the bottom. <laughs> and he's an excellent player, and he's somebody that I'd like to see more of in the Protea setup. Are there any players here that that you'd like to see more of um, that aren't regulars in the Protea setup? In the Protea setup, Twins or Emily? Um. So in that list there, Renard von Tonde, um, I'd, I'd love to see him. Obviously, he was in the test side, um, well, in the squad not so long ago, and then he picked up an injury. So I'd love to see more of him. Um, I think he's he's a phenomenal talent. Um, yeah, he, he's shown his class in in this tournament so far. Um, so I'd love to see Renard. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, he, he hasn't yet played any test matches, but I'm not sure when or if he'd get that chance um, in the side. But... Yeah, I'd love to see him in come to the side um, and get more chances. And Pat van Bouillon as well. Um, he's, I think, top of the list there, top run scorer. Um, he's yeah. shown that he has what it takes um, as as a batsman um, for the Proteus. So I'd like to see him more too. Especially since we've been playing test cricket as those T20 internationals. It would be nice to see some of these. Twins, um, who would you like to see more of in, in the squad? Is there anybody who you'd like to see included from what you've seen in the CSA T20 Challenge? Okay, we, yeah, we were just going to say we didn't actually see the um, list, okay, list yeah. but yeah, we see it now. So definitely looking forward to see Verena. I think he's in there. Yeah, yeah. Is. looking forward to see what else he can still do. And I think also fight Van Boyon. He was also... You know, brilliant there against the, um, the Dol Dolphins. Yeah, I against the Dolphins. So that 72 not out, that was really cool. And then, um, uh, let me just Who see. Else? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm I'm so maybe. yeah look, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. but just specifically those with Reina, Boyon, and, and maybe even Reina Contonder, I think. Yo. So, yeah, it's. So many numbers. Is that all? Yeah, I'm not sure you're keen. Oh, mm. okay. Yeah, I know that's, that's our list. Kind of. Um, did you manage to catch today's match or were you engrossed in the India versus England? <laughs> um, um, no, really we didn't catch, catch the match, match yeah, but yeah. I was following the, the, the live score, though, but I couldn't actually watch yes. the actual thing. Did the nice and, and the Warriors the moved up to the uh, position today because yeah, they've yeah, been they moved tonight by 14 run. runs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In yeah, Durban. They're starting to fight a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there it is. Good. And I, I, I think um, they now. Kaya yeah, yeah, Nabe yeah. took three for 19 today. Yeah, three. And yesterday, yeah. a yesterday, a career-best four for 21. That was when the Warriors beat the Titans by 43 runs to secure that bonus point win. Yeah. Sure. So, yes, yeah. what, what do you guys think about him? Here, here we have a list of the top wicket takers. That's excellent. Oh, yes, I'm looking at Mahima as well. And Freilink, I think Hi. he's... I really enjoyed watching that. Uh, obviously, Linda. I mean, we want to see Linda there. Mm. Of course. Yeah, and obviously, yeah, Magala taking the most wickets. What did he take? Like 10 or something? Did 10 of the year, 10. Yes. Wickets mm. In the tournament so far. That's good. It's exciting to it's see... Um, yeah. These players taking wickets of 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 course Ngidi will be there, but it's yeah. it's quite exciting to see. Um, would you like to see somebody like Nabe in included in the Proteus squad? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously today I managed to just be on and off watching the game, but I think he has, I think he's done quite well in terms of bowling, and but I think also Mahima, I was also quite captivated by his bowling and stuff. So, I mean, the first game was against, um, I think, the Dolphins, and he took a four for there. So I think that was a nice start. But although we didn't win that game, but, you know, yeah. but that's fine. Yeah. It's also nice to have to have options. Um, Emily, what, what do you think? Yeah, um, I've been really impressed with um, Sasanda Magala at the death, especially. Um, I mean, I've, I've always been a fan of, of him. 
Um, and he, he shows that you can depend on him um, at the depth. So I think he got three, I think three or two against in an over. I can't remember. But yeah, he, I mean, at the depth as well. So he, he can bowl that Yorker, um, you know, on demand. Uh, and it's just, you, you want to have someone at the depth that you can depend on. So I'd love to see him in the in the side, protest side. Um, I know we've had talks of it before that he perhaps should have been someone in that side. Um, unfortunately, not yet um, as of late, but hopefully <laughs> hopefully he'll be there soon again. Um, and then who else have I been impressed with? Oh, yeah. Um, see, I mean, so besides Nabe, of course, Nabe, um, this last two games, he's, he's shown his his class as well. Um, but Siyama Hima, I've been impressed with too. You know, he's he's so fresh in that, like, that Cobra side. Um, you know, recently joined the side and he's also just been impressive. I mean, he, he picks up that hat trick in, in one of the games um, as well. And yeah, it's he just, he's showing that he can hold up an end, not just hold up an end, but pick up wickets too um, for the Cobras. Uh, and Imi Manak hasn't been too bad either, in my opinion. Um, Imran Manak has, has also done well for the Cobras. Um, so, I mean, I've been impressed with, I mean, obviously on that list, I think there's only about two spinners on that top 10 list, um, but I've actually been impressed with a lot of the spinners in the competition. Um, yeah, they, I mean, Tereza, Shamsi, Keshav, obviously the, the protest players, but then the ones that aren't in the team as well, uh, I've been impressed with. So, yeah, hopefully some call-ups, some call-ups soon to the national team for those players. I hope they're utilizing those spinners well, you know, practicing against spin. <laughs> and um, Emily, you weren't uh, impressed with Chris Morris. I'm in asking of, because in, because this week he's made headlines all around the world, especially in India, and definitely, uh, I mean, being auctioned off and being bought up for thirty three million rand about round about there. If I'm just rounding it off roughly. That's a lot of my most expensive IPL player ever. Unfortunately, yeah. he was snubbed by the 100. He wasn't snatched up there, you know. But um, in the IPL, definitely. So in the first game that, that he played, I think he took one wicket in, in that first game. But he did hit an unbeaten 21. Um, the second game, I, I think it was against us, but, or rather the Cobras. I don't think I'm supposed to take sides here, but I guess I just did against <laughs> <laughs> the, this is a fan, a fan show. This is a fan show. It was against the Six Gun Girl Cape Cobras, and uh, he took two for twenty-one. I'm not sure what he put up on the scoreboard there. Um, then against the Lions, he added nothing on the scoreboard. Out for a duck? No, he took nothing. But I think he he added three runs on the scoreboard, and then one run in the match after that and so i have you been impressed by his performance and and do you think that now people are looking towards him and like yes that is why he is that expensive um i, I don't even know if he's on that top 10 list to be honest um he's, in terms he's of not we could because take, he hasn't taken not. enough of it. i don't think <laughs> okay um so yeah, I mean, let's see. Yeah, let's take not, a look. Okay, here's the top ten list. He's no, not, as, he's not as I said, he's, he's not unless I'm I'm not seeing it <laughs> properly. No, he's not there. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I I don't necessarily think that he was snatched because of his wicket taking ability. I think it was more because of how he bowls at the death or how like. Uh, recently how he's bowled at the death um he can also you know get those those balls in the block hole when when needed um and i mean he did he did quite well in the ipl last year so look i'm still <laughs> i'm still not sure if if that that price tag is warranted like i'm i'm still thinking about it um i i don't I mean, personally, if I was a <laughs> if I was an IPL um, auction knee auctioner, I mean, you know, if I was you know bidding for these these players, I don't think I would have you know bid so much. I mean, he, even he himself, he said he didn't expect to to go for so much. Um, so yeah. I mean, yeah. But I think I think what's important about him is he he's an all round player and that he can you know he can smash 
the ball over the boundary if needed. Um, he hits a long ball, and he can also get wickets and and you know ball to death. So I think that's what um made him so expensive. But yeah, I still have mixed feelings about that. And and they were looking for an all rounder. Twins, um, I see you whispering to each other. What what do you think? How do you feel about this? <laughs> no, actually, last week we were talking about this old Chris Morris auction thing, mm. and I and I did I think I did ask so what mm. is like the big deal as to why he was so expensive? And I mean, Emily even said it like, um, what could the reason even be? And it was almost like my question was like, what are you even asking? <laughs> but it it is it's quite interesting to see because um, to be but it's so high on an IPL format, but, you know, in T20, then it's just like, okay, so you guys betted so many millions on this guy, but unless his mind is already at IPL, he's just like, you know, this is just like small side, Mediocre. yeah, side missions, but the main mission is IPL, I don't know. I don't know. Just, yeah. So we were just I mean, <laughs> that is a possibility, but you don't think that he wants to play passionately for his country? I'm sure I'm he sure would. He it does, just yeah. needs to show. Money, money is nice, but also money and playing well for your country. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's not well. It wasn't the Akshay Patel kind of yeah. bowling stunt, but it it was it was I think maybe a bit too okay, below we, the bar for me. You can't compare <laughs> Akshay Patel and Chris Morris. No, no, I'm not comparing. No, I'm just you saying, can't. like, um, he's just. The General performance-wise, I mean, I'm not saying... Yeah, yeah, he has taken 80 wickets in IPL. Well, yes. Oh, in IPL. Okay. Yes, obviously, no, I'm not talking about his IPL performance. I mean, I'm just like recently... You're talking now, about his really performance seen. at home. Yes, home performance. It's I just like not... Crazy, yeah. <laughs> no, it's no, fine. No. You, you are... Please, please share your opinion. Tell us exactly how you feel about anyone. And anything. This is your moment here, twins. Your mm -hmm. moment to shine. And your opinion is, of course, respected and loved. We love to hear what you have to say. And we love the foresight you have as well when it comes to sport and cricket. By the way, I would just like to ask you, when do you think Liverpool is going to win a match? Your I don't think the clairvoyance works on soccer. Eh? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. no, there's as, a, a, as a Liverpool game. fan, yeah. it's been a tough time. It is. Shame. What is a Liverpool fan anyway? Like, we don't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. I think we should mute their mics. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, you see, you guys are people, nasty. You, know, so. you guys are nasty. That's what's going on what? here. Yeah. Not first with Chris Morris, now with me. No, we're not <laughs> mean. You just yeah. said we can speak our minds, so that's what we're doing. I did, but not about Liverpool. There you have to. Oh, oh, a like line, you, need, a line that needs like to be drawn. A line oh, definitely okay. needs okay. to be drawn, and you guys are playing dirty now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Right. Well, we'll, no, we'll, I, I, we'll I, I mic now. <laughs> so we, well, I'm we a did city fan, so I'm not affected by any of this. Yeah. 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 The worst. I don't even understand that household there with twins. One Liverpool, one City. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me at all. So we did kind yeah. of touch on the hundred. So the hundred auction took place. Mm. There's no South Africans except for. Who's a Rabada for uh, Manchester Originals? Unless I missed a South African in the mix, I didn't see any South African included in any of the squads. I'm not. I'm not really the biggest fan of of England, Australia, New Zealand right now no. when it comes to no, me, me neither. No, the cricket. I I feel really excluded by them. Thank you, thank you, England. <laughs> Australia, Australia, we're looking at you. New mm. Zealand, well, you just kind of fall in that By category default, for now. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Being seen World Cups from us and all. Um, mm. <laughs> we just don't like you. Um, so let's talk about um, the exciting match that happened today. England versus India. 
we were all watching it. I mean, yes, we had T20 mm -hmm. Challenge happening here at home, but it was very exciting to watch England and India go at it. It was a test match that ended in two days. So quickly, mm -hmm. uh, a pink ball test, day-night game. Maybe it's the pink ball. I mean, the last time India... Well, I don't know if it was the last, wasn't the last time, but I do know that India played pink ball against Australia at the Adelaide. And they were out for 36, which was a really low total, probably record low. 36 by Australia. So it does suggest that uh, pink ball cricket, not their strength. But do you think it was the pink ball or the pitch? Emily? Do you really okay? You really want to get into this? Um, look, it's yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of opinions on it. Um, obviously, India, the India bowlers are f phenomenal. They're phenomenal, um, phenomenally in their in their bowling performance. Um, you know, Akshar Patel, eleven wickets in the game, um, amazing. Um, you know, Ravichan and Ashwin picking up his his four hundred um, as a Test wicket as well. I mean. They're phenomenal bowlers, but I do think that the, the pitch pitch was a, a bit too <laughs> a bit too um, spinner friendly in a sense of it was playing like a day five pitch on day one already, um, which is I mean, yeah, I, I'm not sure why they would you know make it so spinner friendly in a sense of it, it doesn't really help or promote um, Test cricket. You know, um, the game is over in two days and. A test match is supposed to last five, if not okay, sometimes four, but it's supposed to last, you know, four or five days. And when it's over in two days, it's just it's not really helping the cause of test match cricket, you know, to like to, you know, for more people to watch test cricket. Um and it's not like, you know, England only England struggled to bat on it. India also yeah. struggled to bat on it. Um I think if I'm not mistaken, they were hundred for three or something, and then you know, got got bowled off for like 145 odd or something. Um so I just yeah, I mean, obviously in the second innings they came back and they were like they they got forty. It was a forty nine they needed for nothing. Yes. So I mean, they showed you know in the second innings that or they started well <laughs> in the second innings. Um, but I just think that the you know to bat on that was was really tough. Um, and I'd love to see, you know, we, I love to watch test matches where it's sort of fair contest between bat and ball. Um, you know, you want to see hard fought cricket between bat and ball. Um, and when the ball is winning. Um, in terms of this, you know, a whole lot of spin happening, you know, um, I mean, spin picked up, I think, I don't know, 20, 20 odd of the 50 wickets. <laughs> Most of the wickets are spin. Yeah. But um, yeah, so, I mean, uh, having said that, you know, brilliant performance from India, um, amazing bowling, uh, and yeah, they, they deserve to win. But I just think, yeah, the, the pitch could have been maybe less spinner friendly. I'm not sure. I mean, you're right. I mean, for England, Zach Crawley top scored there in the first innings with 53. Rohit Sharma for India, 66. But um, it feels to me like, you know, England also didn't assess anything correctly. That, that That's what it looked like from the outside looking in. But Twins, how did you find it? Do you agree? Oh, and we have a surprise guest. I... <laughs> Leisha just appears out of nowhere. Leisha, welcome. How's it, everybody? I miss y'all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good to see you, Leisha. You were obviously training really hard. Leisha is not the individual from the UK, so we're not uh, quite making fun of Leisha here. But Leisha, we are talking about... We are talking about England versus India and what happened today. And we're talking about the pitch conditions. Emily's angry that it ended in two days because he doesn't want to see test cricket go on for just two days. It doesn't really promote the game um, and doesn't promote test cricket. I'm not sure how much of that you heard because you just surprised me here with your face. But um, I was asking the twins. Twins! How did? Because I know you were watching a bit of this. And you were very excited by India's bowlers. So t tell us a bit about your experience watching this, this game. Okay, well, we weren't really watching too much today. Today was really weird. But yesterday, watching the um, the bowlers before the the first in the first innings, yeah, the first innings, and I don't know. 
like I know you said that the, the, the pitch was conducive for spin, but like how did they decide they were going to use that pitch if, I, I don't know, does it doesn't make sense, like um, for a test to, I don't know. I mean, I, I was also reading like some commentary that people weren't happy with the, co with the conditions of the pitch and England specifically were quite niggly about the pitch. So I don't know. Um, how did the, 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 the decision go? Or is there like a process of deciding what pitch you use when, like, yeah. Anyone? Yeah, let me just get that it's cricket good. board on the phone. <laughs> you, can, you can ask the hard oh, question. <laughs> oh, was that hard? Flex, okay, um... flex, flex, flex. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We but can't really answer fully really that question, but what we yeah. can say is that England, they, they didn't know what they were doing. They came in yeah. with their yeah. attack and. Like it was clear that they didn't well, really know what they were doing or don't know why. Um, Alicia, what yeah. did you what do you think? Um, what do I think about the pitch or what do I think about England in general? <laughs> no, what did you what did you think about the test match? Um, ending in two days, the pitch conditions, and of course. England and their decision making coming in to this test. Um, I'm with I'm with him with regards to the test ending in two days. It doesn't do much for the game, you know. And there's a lot of people out there who doesn't want to watch test cricket because of the way it ends, like with ending in two days. Um, it was a bit of an anti climax for me, you know. I was excited India bowled England out, and I was like, okay. And then come and score 500 and then, you know, not scoring much. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the pitch, yeah, like Amy said, it was a bit too fun-friendly. Like, I, I I wanted it to be less fun-friendly so that I can keep the steamers into the game as well. And um, England coming into this, I don't think they prepare well, you know. Because I mean, the known pictures in India, one of the and um, I think they should have just, you know. But yeah, no, I don't I'm know. All India. <laughs> I don't know. I missed what you said. Now, I, I you just broke up for a bit. Uh, do you think you could repeat that sentence, please? Which sentence? <laughs> the last, the last thing you said. I, I didn't hear it at all. Oh no! I said that England England didn't prepare properly for spinner friendly pitch, and I feel like they should have batted with a little bit more patience. Because I mean, like M said, it's five days. You don't have to go out and do silly things. But yeah, well up to India. Yeah, um, and also, I think England might have missed a trick in that um, they came in with one spinner, one specialist spinner in Jack Leach. I mean, obviously they have Joe Root, but um, he's not really seen as a, as a specialist spinner. So, I mean, India came in with three. So, I mean, and we saw how many, uh, you know, wickets went down to spin, although we have a comment here that plenty of England players miss straight deliveries. And that's true. Um, you know, Joe Root, he mentioned, <laughs> he mentioned in the post-match presentation, he, he said, um, I think, you know, the, the, pres the presenter asked him and his answer was, you know, the pink ball, um, the plastic covering that they have on the pink ball, um, you know, helps it to to move through quicker um, through the through, you know, on the pitch. And like, I don't really, yeah, I don't really think you can, you can, I mean, I don't know about the pink ball, but I mean, it, you, you can't really, you know, just blame, blame the ball. I mean, there were a lot of wickets that went, you know, just straight deliveries. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. You know what went wrong for them, but I, I don't think they prepared as well as they should have. And I think they missed a trick in in only bringing in one spinner. I would have liked to see what Don Best could have done um, on that wicket. And Leisha, what you did miss earlier was us really talking about the CSA T20 Challenge. I know that you've been training really hard. And your training times does definitely cut into 
the the match times. Have you managed to catch uh, some of it, majority of it, at least a little bit of it? Um, <laughs> I did. I did manage to watch a bit. I watched the Cobras. Um, <laughs> where they won? Uh, where they lost uh, the last four. <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. <laughs> um, and then I watched the Warriors lose their, their first three games and then come back into it. Um, you know, I'm I'm really stoked for Kristen Stubbs. He's someone that I love watching. Um, someone who I've scored for at club level. So it's, it's nice to see him step up a bit. Um, um, well, the Sandra Magala rolling beautifully, getting his first Michelle, getting the first Michelle. You know? So, yeah, I, I caught a bit. It's exciting to see the youngsters and stuff. And I'm excited for the second leg. Brilliant. And who would you like to see from what you've seen in these matches? Um, included in the Proteas setup more regularly, because maybe it's somebody that is included, but not regularly. Um, I was actually I can't remember what I was telling, but I would like to see Sisanda Magala get a game or two, few more, you know, because he's got the gas and he's, he's... thanks, Jack. It was you, and I was telling you, and I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see Susanda get a bit more games in the process. That's good. I'm, I love to hear this from Leisha's perspective because Leisha plays cricket. And oh, yes, yeah, somebody's saying Dolphins for the win. That's the oh, way the Twitter yeah. feels. That is where, the way the Kish of Maharaj fans feel. I'm going to wave my Pogba finger over here. It's refreshing to see several spinners perform well with that and have to improve. Yeah. Um, so the, the Dolphins, like, they definitely look like the, the strongest team in, in the tournament and they, they look like they will win the tournament. But anything I mean, can obviously, happen. being, anything being can a happen. Cobras supporter, I would have loved to see the Cobras do, do better. Um, ah. Obviously, obviously it's not, it wasn't meant to be, but um, hopefully they will take what they've learned. Um, you know, and, and implement it. Um, but yeah, Lisha, you know, we spoke about this, but it's fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> if, everyone, so, if everyone yeah. loses and the and the Cobras get a bonus points win, there may be a chance. The Warriors yeah. are going to win, guys. Um, yeah, but to add, to add to that, though, like I've been really impressed with how the Warriors came. I mean, the first two games, I thought they were down and out. Um, I, I thought, you know, Warriors are ending at the bottom of the log, um, the way they played in those first two games. But then, you know, they came back strongly, you know, picking up that bonus point. I, I was really impressed with how they did. Um, also, to add on to what Leisha was saying, like Tristan Stubbs, I mean, 20 years old. Um, I've been impressed with his batting, his fielding. I'm not sure if you guys saw his fielding, but he's a live wire in the field. Um, so I've been impressed with, with Tristan and, um, yeah, hopefully we get to see more of him in the in the Warriors senior, in the, in the Warriors team. Um, so yeah, but the Dolphins, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want them to win. I don't want them to win, but they probably will. <laughs> Somebody's asking me about thoughts on Bavuma. So he hasn't been performing too badly, and he is in that top ten um, with the top ten scorers. Um, if the pre the producer can just bring that back on the screen for two seconds, so that Leisha can also get a look at it. So, yeah, he's the fifth on the list, if I'm counting correctly. Not doing too badly. Um, Leisha, what are your thoughts about him being included in the Proteus T20 squad for the World Cup? And how how do you think he'll fare at, at, at that level? Um, yeah, like you said, he hasn't done too badly. Um, yeah. He can only... He can, like, okay, for the second leg, I'd like to watch him. He's one of the players that I've been watching closely because I'm also focused on the T20 squad. Um, I think he definitely should be included because, like, the way he's performing, he's showing he can step up, he can 
you can eat the ball around, manipulate the field. So I, I definitely think he should be in the squad. And he himself doesn't want to be restricted to one format of the game. He doesn't want that. He wants to play it all. So it's good to see him performing um, in, in domestic tournaments like this because all we have right now to go on are these domestic performances and we have to, we have to push through and this is the cricket that we have. This is the cricket we have to watch right now and this is where we're going to gain experience. Twins, what, what is your thoughts on it? As fans, as fans, yeah. how do you feel yeah. about seeing more of Temba? Um, do you enjoy it? We've been seeing a lot of Temba and I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it as a fan. I've been enjoying watching him and I've been enjoying the fact that I know that he is enjoying being there. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really seen him play um, um, very much, but like seeing him in, the, in, this, in this tournament, compared to in you know in the previous um like um the Proteus games but it's actually nice to see him come out a little um from the games that we were managing that we did manage to watch it was actually nice to see him actually play and you know yeah is he captaining the lions or yeah yeah he captained he, the lions yeah. Or, yeah so it, it's actually nice maybe for him to play a little bit more freely i think or to see him play a bit like Maybe not so like he's afraid to score runs or something, but like playing the game. Yeah. I hear you. And Emily, well, what are your thoughts um, on the inclusion of Bavuma? How, how do you think that he is a necessity to the side? Or do you think that perhaps um, there, are, there are others that could maybe come in his place when it comes to the Proteus squad? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I I know, I mean, Babuma can anchor in innings, but he can also go when he needs to go. Um, so I, I do, I mean, I do think he, he would be in the side. Um, there's just, for me, there's a lot of players, I mean, People have been speaking about Reza and saying that like Reza doesn't deserve to be in the side and all those things. I mean, I'd love to see Reza in the side, but the question is, is there space for like someone like Reza and someone like Timba Timba Bahuma? So look, to be honest, I don't I really don't know. Um <laughs> I, I really like um Reza though, so I'd love to see him there. But I mean Timba he does deserve to be there and I mean he like I said, he can do both. But then again, Reza can also do both. Um, he's just, Reza's seen as an anchor player, but he can, like I said before on the show and stuff, he can really hit a long ball and he can, you know, sh show his class and stuff when he needs to. So, yeah, I mean, it's just going to, at the end of the day, the way they're going to pick the squad is, um, you know, it's either going to be this person or that person. It's going to be, you know, who's sort of done better recently out of the two players. Um, and I think it's going to be Hopefully. like that. Hopefully, because, you know... I mean, it's either going to be that or obviously it's going to be, like, you know, based on what they can do, <laughs> which mm. is... A lot of the yeah. time, I, I feel yeah. like that is, that is usually the case. Players are picked for the possibility that they may perform yeah. at their best because at their best, they are brilliant. But mm. the consistency... Yeah. I think, what, I think we I are... Yeah, yeah, we we are in the need. We are needing some sort of consistency from most players, so that we can have players like um, Khalid was talking about in the crossover show, like Muller, who can come in and and go out, or come in and do something special. I yeah, see Lisha so, yeah. laughing at. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to start an argument about that about that at all because he's he hasn't been doing too badly, right, Leisha? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He hasn't. <laughs> um, no, I was laughing because I thought about um, how college went on with the crossover show <laughs> and how upset he was. Yeah, he was. He was pretty upset. 
<laughs> he was pretty upset at uh, Muller being the senior player in the squad. But I'm excited to see what what the final squad will look like when we when we land on that. Um, but hopefully we still have some cricket to get through and we get to see more performances from different players and young players. I mean, I love watching these domestic tournaments because that's where we really get to see people shining and we get to see that we do have uh, plenty of options, which is which is great. And I know that you appreciate that, Leisha, because as a, a cricketer, you know that it's nice when youngsters perform because we get to see that they, they put their hands up and they get selected. And I know you want to see more of that. And not just going according to nostalgia, but going according to performance. Yes, definitely. I, I'm, I'm all for that because I feel like our country has so many youngsters with so much talent, but they're being overlooked because of, you know, what, okay, David Muller, I'm not like picking on him, I'm just using it as an example. Because of what Muller did, like, Three years ago, we can score 100 instead of looking at what the youngsters are doing now. So, so yeah, I'm all for youngsters coming up and stepping up and, yeah, it's exciting. And, Alicia, you are from, are you not from the place where they've recently changed the name? <laughs> I was hoping yeah. that we could get a local on, on the show right now. To pronounce it properly for us, thank you. <clears throat> and go. <laughs> okay, so guys, I am now from Kabecha. Ooh, let me give that a try. No, let me not give that a try. I feel like I'm <laughs> going to embarrass myself and help right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it a go. Come on. I think let, let Emily give it a go. Emily, how are you, how are your clicks? <laughs> Formerly, formerly known as PE, we have this new region where we have plenty of cricketers come hailing from there. We have Leisha, who is from there. And Emily, here's your chance to really get into the clicks. The new, the new place in our country. A strong name. Look here, um, I, I prefer to, to say it uh, with a mic off so long, you know. you gotta got to practice. Um, I'm... <laughs> No, but in all honesty, like I'm all for like changing names and stuff. Um, and I I try to get it right. Like I try my best to pronounce it right and stuff. So let me just practice it a bit more. Ask Leisha for tips, and then <laughs> and okay, then Lisa, maybe one you know, more time. Actually, yeah. you should teach us one more time. Yeah. Okay, so it's Kabeha. Oh, she does it so good. You see, after she says it, I don't want to say it. I was initially <laughs> going to say it. I, I was. I was going to talk about this name change and then ask Leisha. I shouldn't have asked Leisha to pronounce it first. So <laughs> that's where Leisha's from. She's from there. She's playing <laughs> cricket there. <laughs> She's supporting cricket there. And <laughs> where's there, Tara? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Where is there? Um, oh, Leisha, what are you drinking? Yeah, Leisha, what are you drinking? Please, Leisha, tell, tell the people what you're drinking. It's juice. <laughs> what type of juice? Leisha's <laughs> favorite juice, because that's how they do it in that place formerly known as PE. <laughs> I want to get it right, though. I do want to learn it. Go for I do. It. Now I feel like I need to practice it off air <laughs> and to go somewhere in the corner and go and practice it. <laughs> you need to go and practice it. And, okay, next week, next week I'll come. And when I introduce you, I will tell everybody where you're from and I'll pronounce it properly. But I will spend the entire seven days, the entirety of the seven days, you know, um, practicing because I would actually like to pronounce it properly, you know, in all honesty. I want, I want that hundred percent, but anyways, we are, are wrapping up now. 
Um, coming to the end of the show, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Leisha, twins, Emily. It's been a blast. It's been fantastic hearing all of your opinions on this T20 challenge. And if you are wondering what's happening tomorrow, exciting six-gun girl cape cobras are up against the lions at 10 o'clock in the morning. Then at the top of the table, dolphins and the titans at 2.30 how it's going to end, we'll have to wait and see because by the end of this weekend, we'll have a final winner. We'll have a champion and I'm excited to see who that is. And I wish I could tell you that it would be day three of India versus England, but alas, that's not the case. So thank you very much for joining us. Your comments, Leisha, enjoy your juice. Enjoy the rest of your training. Twins, com continue to celebrate your birthday. Happy belated. Durban does indeed rock according to the tables. And Emily, you too have a good week. Signing out, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your evenings.